So in this Symbo tip, we're going to show you how you might be able to go in and uh, track additional files and documents on your website and go really paperless uh, for all types of things that you just have miscellaneous files sitting in your file cabinet right now, whether they're agent files or uh, bills that you've mailed or checks that you've mailed or just miscellaneous operating or owner's manuals that are sitting in files cabinets sitting around in your office taking up space. You can digitally put those on your website and maintain them and easily search them, find them, download them, and view them digitally from anywhere in the world and not have to go into your file cabinet and rummage through and find it. So that's what we're going to show you how to do quickly. Uh, one, uh, probably the best place to put this is going to be under our forms or documents. So I'm going to create a new page and I'm just going to call this admin docs. And I'm going to add it as a child of the forms. So then it'll be under my forms page here and it'll just be in this drop down. So I'll add that into the page or onto my site. And now it'll take me to the admin docs page that I just added. And you can see it's here, but there's nothing on it really. So now I can go in and add in this documents company. Now, if you want to watch how to set this up, you can watch the documents company tutorial and they'll show you how to set it all up. But for this tutorial, we're just going to show you how you can use it to set it up for this particular purpose of storing additional documents. So I'm going to quickly go through and set up a couple categories and uh, permissions on this. And if you have any questions on how to do that, you're welcome to go in and watch the documents company tutorial. And it'll show you how to do everything you need to on this. So I'm going to make this so only my head brokers, head secretaries, branch brokers, and branch secretaries can view this module. And then I'm going to go into the repository in here and I'm going to add a couple settings and categories. Just adding a couple categories here and then I'm going to put in change the permissions so that all my head brokers, head secretaries, and branch brokers in all my offices will be able to upload and download and moderate documents on this site. And then I'm going to go in and set up a default logo so that if we don't upload an, an image, it'll automatically at least show my Adobe ping file. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm ready to upload documents. And I can go into my, if I hit upload here, it'll open up this for me and I can go in and say uh, whatever I want to title this and maybe this is a John Doe check uh, and I can put the transaction number if I really wanted to and then I can choose the file and it's basically you can upload any file you want whether it's a, a a uh, file that you want to have as a scanned image or a PDF or anything like that, you can put that in there and it'll work just fine. Then of course you can put in who uploaded it, you can put in your name and email and you can hide your email if you don't want other people to see that. Then you can put in a description and this is required, you have to have a description in here. And so if you want to, you can just copy down the title, but whatever you put in either the title or in the description of this document is what you'll be able to search by. So you may want to be as explicit as possible and put in maybe the amount. Uh, if you've cut a check for $6,360 uh, or the date or whatever you want, then you can put that in there and then you can search for it uh, by whatever you put in this. So if you want to put an invoice number or a transaction number or a, an agent name or a buyer to seller or anything like that, you can put that in here and then you can search for it later. So I'm just going to hit upload and it'll put that file on my site. And there it is right there. And so I'm just going to go and upload another document just for fun so that we can have a couple on there and I can demonstrate a couple different things for you. Obviously these aren't going to be complete, but uh, if I wanted to do bills and checks, and uh, categorize this as a bill and check and then go and put this in as a uh, 
then I can put in all these kind of things uh, however I wanted to. And again, anything I put in this description or in the title is going to be searchable. So there you go. I've got my two different checks here. And I'll be able to search and say, OK, I want to look at all of the ones that are bills and checks. And it'll pull up all of those that match that category. And it'll automatically eliminate all the others. Uh, or if I want to just say all, all items, it'll automatically show all of them. And so as you build this out, as you have eventually hundreds and thousands of documents in here, uh, you can easily search them just by typing in whatever keyword you're looking for. And so in this case, I can type in HUD, and it'll pull up all the ones that match. Or I could type in John Doe, and it'll pull up all the ones that match. And so it's really easy to go in and find all of those, or you can punch in a transaction number or the amount. So 6360, then you can look that up. So the more information you put in the title or in the document description, the easier it's going to be to find these down the road. Uh, but you can see the date and time when they were uploaded. You can sort them by different things. So if you're sorting them alphabetically or by the date they were uploaded. And then you can obviously go and categorize them if you want. And so that's the nice part about this is you'll be able to go and take all of the different uh, documents that you have around sitting around your office, convert them digitally either with a scanner or through an e-fax, and then throw them on your website so you can access them anytime you want. Now if you want to, you can just download this and click on that and it'll open up the file and allow you to open it and view that file on your computer from anywhere in the world.